Jamie Foxx, Fat Joe, Jennifer Lopez, Alicia Keys, DJ Khaled. What do these five artists all have in common? They have all been paid spokespeople for this MLM company, Market America. Just look at J.R. Reidinger, CEO of Market America. At company conferences, the guy makes quite an entrance. <laughs> just his walk on. Once he gets going, he puts on a real show, demonstrating how you can pump money, uh, dramatizing the rat race by sweatily running around in a giant wheel, <laughs> and screaming at the gravestone of Joe Nobody, who never fulfilled his true potential. Joe, come on, man. The dreams you told me about, we can actually do them now. That should give you a taste of what we're talking about. Much to my disappointment, one of my favorite celebrities of all time who has been an inspiration to me in my own life is a longtime supporter and promoter of this <laughs> Jamie Foxx. Thank you so much for letting us come. Every time we come, we have a fantastic time. Oh, Jamie. Anytime you need me, call on me, call on me. No, Jamie, oh, no, Jamie. Yeah. Lauren, you can call on me. That's JR's wife right there, Lauren Reidinger. Look, and he's giving his all. Look how sweaty he is. <laughs> no. Shut the door, shut the door. Shop.com. Just phoning it in. I just imagine from Jamie's POV, he's looking out into the crowd and he sees the little teleprompter thing that has like nine minutes left on it. And he's just trying to fill the runtime to meet his like contractual obligation for this event. Shop.com, shop.com. Cha ching! <laughs> I got love for you. I, listen, I just came to hang out with you. I love you so much. I just came to hang out with you because I love you so much. I just definitely didn't get paid. <laughs> I definitely didn't get paid a million dollars for this. Guys. Jamie Foxx, just showed up on stage. Come on. <laughs> guys, just, we're just doing our little convention that we've been promoting for three months, and you guys all paid $500 for tickets. And Jamie Foxx, a guy who's been a spokesperson for us for the better part of the last decade, just showed up. Can you believe this? <sighs> this one's going to sting to watch. Jamie Foxx performs at Market America Convention 2014. I'm like y'all's little kid, little brother. I live at their house. I be at their house all the time in my head. What? I be at the house? Davon says apparently Lauren and JR lend their luxury homes to celebrities and offer what amounts to therapy for them. Amazing. Okay, so maybe he do be at their house. It's hard to get away from paparazzi sometimes. You allow us to come to your place and just be able to let our hair down. I'm Interesting. Yeah, it's so hard to get away from paparazzi. So we just go to the house of our rich friends who aren't famous except for within the ecosystem of these events because... That's how all MLMs are. The people within the companies at the high levels are treated like gurus and gods and celebrities. Oh, did you hear Bob Smith is going to be at the event this weekend in Vegas? Who the fuck is he? Any of these people, even the top OG, OG, OGs of MLM, Richard DeVos and Jay Van Andel. If any person saw their picture, you wouldn't know who they are. Any random person who wasn't in Amway, you wouldn't know who these guys are. They just look like generic old white guys. But within Amway headquarters and at Amway events, you would probably see people in tears looking at, like like it was Kim Jong-il in North Korea. So when I asked her what type of music did she like to hear, you know what she said? What'd she say? She said she wants a more <laughs> So sexy. No, not the CEO coming out to dance the no 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 Not the CEO coming out to do the Dougie with Jamie Foxx and Co. No. No. I literally cannot believe you've done this, Jamie. Oh, bro, if he performs Blame It, I'm done. Blame it on the goose, got me feeling loose. Blame it on the goose. Hey! Oh, fuck. Blame it on the Amway. That's so good. Seeing such a universally beloved celebrity like Jamie Foxx promote a universally despised scam, multi-level marketing, gives us a real opportunity, a rare opportunity to look within ourselves and try to figure out whether we should be judging celebrities or people off of their involvement with MLMs based on our own like confirmation bias. For example, when I made my ACN video, I included a segment at the end 
about how Trump was their biggest celebrity spokesperson for 10 years. And a lot of people, including myself at the time, I have to admit, used Trump's involvement with ACN as like some confirmation bias that he was a bad guy and that the company was untrustworthy and it was a two-way street. But when it comes to someone like Jamie Foxx, somebody who I have a positive outlook on, somebody who I feel like probably is a good person, even though I know Jamie Foxx as much as I know Trump. I know neither of them at all. It's not really fair for us to look at Trump promoting ACN and be like, oh, well, that's because he's a scammer and a bad guy. But then with Jamie Foxx, oh, well, you know, he's just a celebrity getting his money. He probably didn't know. You know, you can still love Jamie Foxx. I'm not making this video so that you end up hating J-Lo and Alicia Keys and Jamie Foxx and Fat Joe and DJ Khaled. I'm making this video to show you how all-encompassing the clutches and the corruption of multi-level marketing seeps out into the world. Celebrity endorsement is one of the most easily attainable things for a person or entity that has money. Honestly, if you dig deep enough, you can find a lot of your favorite celebrities promoting things that you probably wouldn't be okay with. I hate to say this, but Fat Joe has the title in Market America of President of Urban and Latino Development. The fact that Market America thought to get Fat Joe, of all people, as their president of urban and Latino development. What does that even mean? In the context of multi-level marketing, I'll tell you what I believe it means. It means this is the guy that we're gonna get to advertise our scheme to that community, the urban and Latino community. If this was such a good company, if this was such a revolutionary company for it to be, you know, have the longevity of being around for 30 years, and you know, it's supposed to be like Amazon and whatever else they say about it. Why would they even need something like that? I think this is a real shame. This is real sad. This convention is made of people with hunger. Yeah, they, they have hunger because they're not making any money. See, the truth is the middle class is getting swallowed up like a sinkhole. It's not designed for the average people to make it. The irony of talking about the middle class being swallowed up as you are at a conference actively contributing to that absolutely insane can't make this shit up this is actually the only platform that gives you an even playing field says every i've ever looked at this is the only system in the world that has a level playing field it's more fair you go out there you join another company you'll never become the ceo i love how they give it this spin this is easy enough for any person to figure out if you look at the compensation plan of any MLM company, but if a person you recruited ends up rising above you in the system, that just means that they have successfully victimized more people than you. This is the only place you can be your own boss. It's the only place you can own your own business. Really? So I couldn't go and register a business at the registry and decide what products I sell and what the price is and what the name of it is and what the marketing is. Market America, you, you can do none of those things. You don't get to decide even the price of the things that you sell. So how is, of course, we already know, it, it's a rhetorical question. You don't own it. You are not a franchisee, you are not an entrepreneur. It's always the ones closest to you. Jealousy is hurtful. I promise you, nobody is jealous of you losing money in your MLM. No one is jealous of you. This is a, a lie that MLMs always perpetuate. People will just be jealous of you. People are haters. People are, they hate themselves. They don't want to see you win. They try to hold you back. Nonsense. Not everyone who raises a concern about something is a jealous hater who wants to steal your dreams. And if you are in an MLM, most likely you don't have anything to be jealous of. Well, they're jealous of where I'm gonna be. How long you been fucking saying that? How's that working out for you? If you believe in market America, and most of all, you believe in yourself, then you have nothing to worry about. See, the plan is already laid out. Believe in yourself, follow the plan. Again, we've heard it a thousand times before. If I had a dollar for every time I heard this from a different company, I'd be in the top 1% of any MLM company. But again, this is a way for these companies to convince you that if you fail, it's your fault. We have the plan. If you stick to the plan and believe in yourself, you're going to succeed. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So if you don't succeed, when you don't succeed, it's either you didn't follow the plan or you didn't believe in yourself. Those are your two choices. It's sad, but nowadays when I walk into companies to have meetings, I say, man, all these people are gonna be fired. There's no security and what's worse is they seem to fire you at the worst times. 
<laughs> Again, more fear mongering. If not this, then what? Well, it can be it can be corporate jobs because they're just going to fire you. They're, it's inevitable. They're going to fire you and they're going to fire you at the worst time. This is just completely unsubstantiated fear mongering. Look at the world as though there's no other option. Everything else is corrupt and a, a failing system. This is the only thing. It, it takes a regular person's propensity for looking at jobs as exactly what they are, a means of making a living. For most people anyways, that's what a job is. You accept when you start a new job that maybe it won't be permanent. Maybe in five years or 10 years, you'll have to do a new thing sometimes sooner than that. I'm 27. I've had several jobs. I've had jobs that lasted months, a year, a couple years. Was my identity completely shattered every time I went from one of those jobs to the next? No, it's a job. This is life. But this type of rhetoric is what MLMs that I, I've seen this so many times that they say to try to get you to think that this is the only thing. This is the only reliable thing. You can't count on anything else. Everyone else and everything else is going to fail you. You need this. You need us. I like to think my life is great. I made some good money. But when I compare it to JR, I said, damn, he's made tons more. Huh? The reason he's made tons more than me and all of us is because the man has always dreamed bigger. Matter of fact, one time I wasn't in town and they brought JR to show the plan in the toughest neighborhood in the Bronx. And everybody was calling JR like, JR, don't go there. And I was like, yo, JR. JR went and answered my call. When I got the pictures of the presentation, he was laying down on the floor showing the plan. You can't stop this man from showing the plan. He's scared of nothing. You can't stop this man from getting on stage and jumping around and dancing and putting on theatrics if it means screwing over young Mexican and black people. You can't stop him. He dreams bigger. You have to know your why. Why are you doing this? Checking all of the boxes in the most generic formulaic way. Believe in yourself. Follow the plan. Know your why. I met two young fellas that just got on the team. They're about 18 years old. He said, man, everybody says that maybe I'm getting scammed or something. I said, bro, we've been here for 26 years. That's we it. made over $8 billion. There's over 400 people made a million dollars over and over again. Let those people tell you how you're going to make some money residually. I love this answer. It can't be a scam. We've been around for so long. Bernie Madoff couldn't be a scam either because he was around for so long too, right? The fact that MLM people still cling to this and that their victims still look at that and go, yeah, that's a good point, and believe it, breaks my heart. I've been stabbed, I've been shot. I literally had bullets go like this and make a U-turn. <laughs> I say, God, I know literally. you ain't saved my life so I can make a rap song. I know we all love music, but there's no way you can forgive me for all the stuff I've done because I rap. Fat Joe might be one of the biggest pieces of shit in the hip-hop industry. I mean, making music about drugs and gang shit and what's your other contribution to society? Recruiting young people into a <laughs> and promoting the <laughs> speaking on stage at its events and name dropping them in your songs. But it gets worse. If you're a fan of Alicia Keys, I'm sorry, this is gonna sting. Big love to my brother and sister, JR and Lauren, and the entire Market America for 20 years of incredible entrepreneurship. Much love to you. Don't forget to buy my new album, Girl on Fire, at shop.com and get cash back. I love y'all. Congratulations. No. Hi, everybody. It's Jennifer Lopez. Hi, Lauren. Hi, JR. Hi, everybody at Market America. I know it's your guys' 20th World Conference. Congratulations. You guys are doing great work over there, um, helping the world become entrepreneurs. I'm an entrepreneur myself, and I just wish you guys all the best. I hope you have a great conference and a great weekend. This next clip is a major key. The key is to be honest with yourself, and I'm gonna be super honest. They want us broke. They wanna finish us. Do you know it costs money to eat food? Do you know it costs to sleep in your house? I ain't make these rules up. It costs money to drink water. So let me give you a major key. It's all about residual income. And you know what that means? You know <laughs> so drunk. It's all about residual income. Matter of fact, everybody stand up. E no, right now, everybody, everybody right now stand up. Everybody, I mean, everybody stand up right now. Everybody. Right now, Market America, shop.com. Matter of fact, make some noise if you're feeling the energy. If you're feeling the vibrations. I got, I got the keys now. Look at me. I'm living proof. 
I am living proof. If you don't know who I am, Google me. Major scam alert! Did the residual income come in yet? Last but certainly not least for this video, this video is called J.R. Reidinger Celebration of Life Highlight Video. Brace yourself, this shit is amazing. No. When I scan the memories of all the years of knowing this guy and all that he meant, the thing I remember most is the feeling of safety. I always found a safe haven in JR and Lauren's home. Kim Kardashian? And what's this la lady's name? Lala Anthony, I think, is that it? I remember actually Kim Kardashian posting a thing. Somebody sent it to me when JR Reidinger died. She posted like a whole thing on her Instagram stories about how amazing JR was and how much she loved Lauren. And I'm like, oh man, isn't this insane? Like these people are mourning a guy who perpetuated, in my opinion, the most scandalous evil con in human history on so many people. Think of all the victims over the course of 30 years plus. You know, you've got Jennifer Lopez talking about, oh yeah, he, he provided security to everybody. He made people feel safe. He was so giving and generous. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. We're gonna celebrate JR. Oh, and there's DJ Khaled and Fat Joe. Dude, this event is packed. We're going to love JR and we're gonna wrap our arms around this beautiful family, Lauren, because you wrap your arms around all of us all of the time. Financially. We have so much love for JR. And if you with me tonight and we wanna make the celebration, we wanna make this celebration, make sure. Ben Affleck is there too? <sighs> JLo really dragged Ben Affleck along with to watch the kids at this event. Poor Ben Affleck getting Bro, Batman. Batman has been dragged along to a <laughs> cult leader guru's celebration of life and has to sit there and be like, we wish you the best. It's absolutely it goes to the very top. They got the president in on this shit. I talked about that in a previous video about presidents that promote <laughs> The president is in on it. Batman is in on it. How could you, you son of a bitch? How could you do this to me? You'd think this was at like a big celebrity's memorial. Whose celebrity is it? J.R. Reidinger. If you said that name to any person on the street, they'd be like, who? Think about the money that could move mountains in order to get Alicia Keys, Jamie Foxx, DJ Khaled, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in the same room at an event, scheduling it in their day, picking an outfit, like doing makeup and hair, commuting to wherever this was. And like, not only that, but like performing and being involved and being on the microphone. That doesn't happen for anything short of like the Grammy the Oscars, like major celebrity parties. And what is this for? J.R. Reidinger, Celebration of Life, uploaded to Market America's website eight months ago, and it has 3.4K views. No! Kim and DJ Khaled, you gotta love it. Fat Joe shaking hands with Ben Affleck. Oh my God, dude. Everything that you can think of happening has happened. Wow, bro. I never met somebody living their life every day of their life like JR. Swiss Beats, Ja Rule. Why are all these people here? What did JR and Lauren have on all of these celebrities? What kind of blackmail? Or what kind of money were they spending? Swizz Beats, Ja Rule, the list just keeps growing at this event. Seeing Ja Rule here reminds me of that Dave Chappelle sketch where he's like, where is Ja? Who gives a fuck with Ja Rule thanks to the time like this? He's the only person that I know in life that wasn't scared to be himself every day of his life. J.R. Reidinger was the only person you ever met in your life who was not afraid to be himself all the time? Really? If that's true, then what the fuck did you say at DMX's funeral, <laughs> you know? I feel like DMX was a guy who was himself all the time, but what do I know? And I remember JR just believing in 99.9% .9 of this room that... <laughs> the fact that he uses that number is so poetic. 99.9% .9 because 99.9% .9 is also coincidentally, not so coincidentally, the number of people who lose money in MLM companies. And that is across all MLM companies every single year. 99.9% .9 of participants lose. Wow, look at this shot, dude. Jamie Foxx, Kim Kardashian, Lauren Reidinger, Ben Affleck. I'm sure this person, this lady with her head turned is J-Lo. All for what? Some scammer. Of course. Yeah. 
no way you're going to perform All I Do Is Win at somebody's funeral. Can you imagine? Actually, you know what? I want that. When I die, figure it out. Make some phone calls, pull some strings, get DJ Khaled to perform at my funeral. I will accept nothing less. This is insane. This is literally like a sketch. Your joy. Was that Damon John from Shark Tank? Yep. Wow. I actually can't believe how many celebrities they packed into this event. I'm just gonna sing one last JR favorite. We just appreciate this beautiful night. This is a personal request because no one is no. better than JR. No, don't do your biggest hit. No, she's she's really no one. Come on, man. Everybody put your hands in the air now. Everybody put your hands in the air now. JR, big love, put your hands up. If there's one song that didn't need ad libs, let alone Swizz Beats ad libs, it's No One by Alicia Keys. Oh, there's Irv Gotti. <laughs> Murder! <laughs> if y'all know your 2000s hip hop lore. When the rain is pouring down. That's J Lo, that's off key right there for sure. We love you, Lauren and J Lo. Wow, man. Absolutely haram. I literally don't think there's a video on the internet that features as many high profile celebrities as that with as few views as that. It's not possible. It's really hard for me to not, you know, as they say, throw the baby out with the bathwater. I like DJ Khaled. I like Ben Affleck. I like Jennifer Lopez. I love Jamie Foxx. It's hard for me to judge the sin, not the sinner. It's hard for me to do that because I know the harm that is perpetuated by multi-level marketing. You've heard me say it before. I think it is the greatest, biggest, most harmful scam in human history. There is not another thing you can point to that has contributed to the number of broken friendships, divorced marriages, suicides, mental anguish, and psychological manipulation. To try to estimate the number of victims is a fool's errand. We are talking tens of millions of people since this scam began. And I know some people would say, well, there's no use in outlawing MLM because there's always going to be a scam. There's always going to be scammers. This is true, but does that mean that we shouldn't try? Having multi-level marketing be illegal will surely stop countless people from joining them because that's one of the most popular excuses they hide behind. We've been around 30 years and we're legal. We have these celebrity endorsements. If we were a scam, we would have been shut down by now and blah, 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 blah. There's always gonna be murderers. Should we not punish murderers? Very sad stuff.